got ready for a workout this morning. I'm gonna head down and sauna for a bit. I think I'm gonna do like 10 minutes in the sauna before getting into my training session. We're gonna do legs today, you know. I don't love legs, but I'll film it for you guys and everything. I just made myself some pre-workout. I've been having this in the morning after I have like a thing of water and my greens instead of having coffee before my workouts because I'm trying to cut back on having like my coffee first thing in the morning and it's been a really good routine. So I'm gonna drink these up and then we'll head down. This is the workout outfit that we're rocking today. We've got these Lululemon leggings. I think this purple color is so pretty. I love it. And then I also have a purple sports bra underneath, which is from Gymshark. I'm wearing an aloe tank over top and then a scuba hoodie. We've got the layers today, but I love wearing these little hoodies to just warm up in because they're so comfy. Then my headphones, I've been living in these Amazon headphones. I wear them probably like 24 seven at this point, you guys, like they are the best. I will link them down below as well as all the other outfit details. And then of course, from my sneakers. I'm just wearing my Nike Metcons. These are the best shoe in my opinion for strong training and I love them. A little bit later, I just got to Target. It's about 1.30 right now, and it pretty much was just doing lots of editing, getting work taken care of, but I have a list of things I need to grab, mainly here because tomorrow my friends and I are having Galentine's, so I'm very excited for that. It's always the best when we can all get together and just have like very chill, cozy night. So I wanna check out their Valentine's Day section and just see if they have any cute decor to bring. Also, I wanna grab some things for the treat that I'm gonna bring. I'm thinking I'm gonna do strawberry and raspberry like grape fruit kebabs with white chocolate drizzle on top maybe. Also, there's like random things I need to grab. I need to get dry shampoo because I ran out. Baking soda, which is so random, but I've been like trying to make new recipes and everything. And within this last week, I've probably needed it like three different times. And obviously that's a key component to different recipes. So we'll head on in, make that errand, and then also head over to Home Goods after because I know Home Goods will have so many cute things for Valentine's. So I'm excited. back with the Target haul. Honestly, HomeGoods was quite a fail, so we just got the things from Target, and it's very random, but first thing I got, my dry shampoo. Best dry shampoo ever. It's like $8, and I swear by it. I also use their hairspray, which I love, so this is the best. And then baking soda, because, you know, necessity. Then everything for my little treat that I'm bringing tomorrow. Strawberries, raspberries. They didn't have green grapes, so I need to get those at Publix. Well, actually, that's a lie. They did. They had one bag left. I was not about to grab the last bag. That's scary and germy. I don't know. And then I got some gum. This gum is superior. The extra spearmint. So bomb. I already opened the pack because I was in dire need. I haven't had gum in forever. I actually have like a very oral fixation ever since I was a kid. Not ever since. I don't do it anymore. Um, but up until I think I was like eight years old, maybe, I used to suck my thumb and I did it day in and day out. I had to get braces because my teeth were so bad from sucking my thumb. And that's why I think I have an obsession with having gum all the time. And then, which I guess it could be a worse obsession because it's just gum. It's not a vape or any nicotine or anything like that. God bless, but yeah, I haven't had it in forever and I missed it. Then of course, I fell victim to an ad that I saw on TikTok of these lip gloss or lipsticks from L'Oreal. Honestly, drugstore makeup has been really having a moment recently. I got a new foundation the other day or like a skin tint from Maybelline. It's the vitamin C one and I love it. I'm not wearing it today, but I've used it and I really like how lightweight it is, but also it gives your skin such a beautiful like inner glow. You know, it really does look like you have no makeup on and it's not too heavy of like a base or anything, but Back to what I was saying, I got these lipsticks. This is in the color 140 Mauved from L'Oreal. It's their 
color Rish lipsticks. So wanted to try it on because it's this really pretty like sparkly pink color. It's like a pearly essence. And I love a light pink lip. Yeah, that is so pretty. I'll show you guys what it looks like. It's like very smooth too. It doesn't feel very drying at all. I feel like with a lot of lipsticks, whoa, it can feel kind of drying, but oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm just seeing it in the viewfinder. So pink, so poppy, I love it. But this is my current combo that I'm using that was on my lips today. This is like the best lip combo. Like ever since I discovered this, I have felt unstoppable, you guys. I swear it has made my makeup routine just feel complete. So I use this lip liner from Sephora. It's the Creme de la Creme Sephora Rouge Liner. These, so good. I have not found a lip liner that stays as good as this one does. And yes, I have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. That is nothing compared to this. Like, these are $13 and I love it because you can twist them up instead of having to sharpen the dang thing and they apply so nicely. And then this is the lipstick that I put with it. It's the 920 Nude Lust from Maybelline. I need to get a repurchase of this because she is almost out. But this is just like, I'd say a nudie type of pink with more of a, not like a brown undertone, but definitely like a nude undertone. It's more on the nude spectrum than, uh, I can't even speak. <laughs> it's more on the nude spectrum than light pink, but it's my favorite. I actually love it so much that when I was randomly at Target, probably like a couple years ago, I ended up buying it again, not even realizing I had like the full size in my car because I didn't even know like the name of it or the full size of my purse. Do you guys tell my brain is just not functioning right now? So I'm going to go back to work um, in my apartment, get some ish done, have some lunch, and yeah. some work on my laptop finished up some editing and everything also i started watching this is us last night so good so i've been watching this while doing a little bit of work because if you know me i cannot get into shows on netflix to save my life like my attention span just i do not have it for shows so the only show i've ever finished is how i met your mother when that was on netflix ages ago and i was close to finishing friends until they took it off that was or that is like my favorite show of all time that's like the show that got me through college best comfort show and then i watch gilmore girls i'm like on season five of gilmore girls but to me that's more of like a comfy cozy fall time winter vibe type of show but this has been so good also it helps that the actor is so freaking hot justin hartley i'm like okay like dang he is yeah he's yummy so that's what i've been watching and then i just finished up doing my goal and habit tracker for february this is like my favorite thing to do at the beginning of every single month. To be honest, January, I didn't really follow through with many of the goals I set for myself because although it is like the new year and January is when everyone feels motivated and you want to set new goals and create new habits and all that, to me, it's more so like a month of resetting, reflecting, and just getting reset in general and just feeling rested. So then February rolls around and I like to hit the ground running with my new goals or different habits that I want to implement. So I'll go through a few of the goals that I have, not like too in depth, but one of my goals is to make five different recipes and share those recipes with you guys on TikTok. I feel like TikTok is the perfect place for me to share different recipes, whether it's gluten-free salads or gluten-free salads, gluten-free recipes, different salads or breakfast that I really like to make because we know breakfast is like my favorite meal of the day. So a couple of vlogs ago, I made protein pancakes and I actually filmed that for TikTok. So I want to put out content like that and just like see how you guys like it. Plus it's the perfect place for you to save it and then reference it later on. Also, I want to read two books. That was the goal that I had for January, but I only read one book. And then I was so close to finishing this one, so I'm gonna finish this up very, very soon, and then I'll start my two books for February. I also wanna practice mindfulness more. I really wanna get into meditation, but I wanna get into it in a way that I can make it a part of my routine and something that is gonna be feasible for me because I know that I just do not have the patience. I can get there, but I don't have the patience right now to sit for five to 10 minutes in silence and just meditate. I guess I could do that like before going to the gym, just sitting in the sun or something, but I wanna figure out a way to implement into my routine that's really gonna work well for me and just like be effective because I know just sitting down and meditating is one of the 
best things you can do for your mind. And it really helps you tap into manifestation and gratitude and all of that, which I'm really good at doing. It's the meditation part of it that I don't have the patience for. So I just think there's like an abundance of tools out there and I don't really know where to start with it. So I'm thinking maybe finding like a podcast or doing walking meditations, that sort of thing. I did one a couple weeks ago when I went to the beach. So that was really nice. So more to come on that but that's definitely something i want to do and then no phone from 7 to 9 a.m and 7 to 9 p.m i've been really good about making that a habit in the morning and then i started doing this at night and it's really helpful because i'll be making dinner and i'll just be genuinely enjoying and putting thought into what i'm cooking and what i'm eating and like i'll put a show on netflix to watch and i'm not just mind mindlessly scrolling i do have restrictions on my phone there are days, not gonna lie, where I just hit ignore and I'll keep scrolling or whatever. But for me, it's more about just being off my phone and caring less about what other people are doing and just focusing more on me and like tuning into how I'm feeling and what I'm doing and like my own creative energy and not comparing where I'm at to where other people are at because that like ruined me in November, December, and January. I feel like I was constantly comparing my work ethic to someone else's or my content to other people's and it's really hard to not but like comparison is the thief of joy at the end of the day and I know it's so cliche but it is one of the most powerful things that I remind myself and everyone has their own internal struggles and maybe people are comparing themselves to me while I'm comparing myself to other people so it's like it's just a toxic cycle so I have found that the less mindless scrolling I do and the less time I spend on social media, the happier I feel and just like the more refreshed I feel. Like for example, today I've hardly been on my phone at all. I just got the warning now, like you have five minutes left of TikTok or five minutes left of social media for the day. So it made me feel really, really good because there's times where that has happened at like 11 a.m. and that's not good. So all that to say, just being off the phone more. For some wellness goals, I wanna wake up at 6.30 a.m. throughout the week. And then weekends I can like sleep in and won't really have a strict routine with that. That was something I wanted to do in January. I did it for a week and I was so, so, so tired after that week. Like it was not the best situation that I had set up because I stayed up way too late for that. Also, sorry, that's my dryer right now. If you hear that beeping. I stayed up way too late. I had a terrible night routine. So I would go to bed around like 12 to 1 and then I would my body would wake up at 6 30 because I'd set my alarm and I just no I was not into that so getting to bed earlier so that I can wake up at 6 30 a.m I have my new alarm I've been loving it I feel like it really helps me fall asleep so much better because I listen to the white noise I have the red light on and then it does the sunrise simulation so 6 30 a.m wake up and then 20 ounces of water before having any sort of caffeine, whether that's my aminoline or coffee, less processed foods. In terms of processed foods, I mean things like protein bars, protein cookies, that sort of thing, because those are like my guilty pleasure that I have literally every day. So just finding cleaner options for things like that. Financial goals, a no spending week. There's a certain amount of money that I'd like to make this month. And then $100 for bi-weekly grocery trips. I've never set a budget for grocery shopping, but I think that's something I wanna start doing because it'll challenge me more to get creative with the different groceries that I have in my fridge and also come up with like a different meal plan or follow like my meal ideas that I have that I set at the beginning of the week. So that's pretty much, oh, also run a total of five miles each week. I really wanna get more into running and I've been really loving it. So running a total of five miles, it's little, but I need to start small before I just knock something out like that because cardio is something that I have like a love-hate relationship with. If I do too much of it, I literally like lose my butt and I lose my muscle like crazy. But yeah, that's kind of an insight into some of my goals that I have for this month. But I think I'm gonna make dinner soon start to wind down for the night. I'm gonna do an everything shower tonight, which will feel so freaking good. Do a little self tan. I decided tonight I'm gonna do a very lazy girl version of my everything shower because I'm so tired. It's like 9.07 right now. So I'm gonna read for a little bit and then head to bed. But typically what I would do is blow out my hair I freaking love my shark and ever since I got this and I like washed my hair I've been using it every single time because it leaves a blowout in my hair for like three to four days after using it And it is so good. So I'll blow dry my hair until it's like 80% dry And then I take the round brush tool and just like 
go through my hair and make it completely dry and it just like straightens it gives it a blowout it's so pretty and also it leaves my hair like so voluminous so shiny i love it i've not found anything like this i mean obviously there's like the dyson and everything but this is so good if you have been thinking about getting it thousand percent recommend but it typically takes me around like an hour to do that whole process just because i have very thick hair so i don't know if i have the energy to do that tonight or i know i don't have the energy to do that tonight and i'm also not going to self tan so i just did my little hair care skincare I always use this Jisoo hair oil. I will bring this with me to the grave. It is so freaking good. I love it. So I just typically focus it on like the ends and then bring a little bit like the excess to my roots. And for my skincare, I just put on this Topicals Brightening and Clearing Serum. Love this. I got this a few months ago and a lot of you wanted updates on how I've been liking it. I do gotta say it has really helped out my acne scars because that's really what I'm trying to diminish with my skin. My skin has been overall really, really good recently. There's not been any breakouts or anything. I would say it's just like a tad bit dry. So I've been using the Oak Essentials moisture rich balm and then just really keeping it simple with my skincare not doing anything too extreme i do have like little bumps with texture and everything but that just comes with honestly gut health and stuff so that comes in waves but that's all i did for my skincare i'm gonna book a workout class for 8 30. okay perfect that's what i'm gonna do tomorrow morning so i'm gonna head to bed get a good night's sleep and i'll see you guys tomorrow like no time right now to be vlogging because i should have left like five minutes ago but i'm just throwing on this crew neck from aloe because it's like 48 right now so it's a little bit chilly i'm literally in like the best mood ever this morning such a good workout to kick off the day and it was a tough one that's always the best feeling though ending the week with a good workout and then feeling refreshed heading into the weekend but I was just catching up with my mom and sister on the phone for like 20 minutes, so I went for a nice walk afterwards. The weather today is absolutely perfect. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's such comfortable temperatures out, and days like this are my absolute favorite. So I wanted to take advantage of it while I was downtown because the vibes downtown are just the best. But anyways, I'm gonna head home, get some computer work done, freshen up and get ready for the day, and then we'll kind of see what we've got going on for the day. And then tonight around seven, we'll have Galentine, so that'll be super fun. up getting ready for the day i think my camera's kind of crooked but anyways i did my usual makeup kept the hair natural i'm kind of digging how it looks just letting it air dry at night but i'll show you guys my outfit i have a meeting in about 20 minutes that i'm gonna hop on and then we'll get some editing done i need to finish up the tiktok that i was recording this morning so i can get it posted for you guys but the outfit is just this black jumpsuit from Maurizia. i love these jumpsuits they're so flattering and so comfy i have an exact dupe that i ordered from amazon a few months ago and i absolutely love that one too so i'll link them both down below this little shrug over top is from a free people movement headband is from amazon i've been loving and styling my hair with just like these little headbands because obviously it keeps the hair out of my face and they're so cute lastly i'm just wearing these little slippers which are also from amazon i cannot not wear slippers it's just very comfy cozy and it keeps me so warm because I don't know why but my apartment has been freezing lately so yeah but we're gonna hop on the meeting get some work done and then I'll catch up with you guys once we're getting ready for Valentine's A little bit less than an hour before I need to head out and leave. I'm gonna leave here around like 6 30. That's what I'm hoping. I just cracked open a poppy. The grape flavor is like one of my favorites. Ever since Costco started selling poppy in like the big cases, it's been my addiction. Like I go through these like crazy, probably like once a day. I hope that's not bad for you because I know these are like filled with fiber, but or not really. There's only like two grams of fiber. 
but I'm telling you, it definitely helps get things moving, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna finish that up, and then I need to make my little snack that I'm bringing over because we gotta get moving here. I also wanna clean my apartment before I leave, so lots to do, but I wanted to show you guys. I got an order that I made from Skims because they came out with their Valentine's Day collection, and everything is so freaking cute, and I just got way too excited. So I just did a TikTok haul, and I wanted to show you guys everything that I got because tonight's like a PJ party, so I'm probably gonna wear, or I'm definitely gonna wear one of these sets. I don't know which one yet but i had to share because are we freaking kidding look at how cute this first set is i just got the long sleeve top and then the matching pants with it so cute i got these in a size small i was kind of in between getting a medium or a small because since it was sold as a set i wanted the top to be a little bit oversized and then the pants to fit just right but looking at it, I think a small will be the perfect size. So I'm really excited about this. And it's so dang soft. I can't even say that enough because if you own anything Skims, you know, no matter what you get, it is just way too buttery soft, so smooth, and nothing compares to it. So that's why I always splurge on Skims because it's definitely worth it. And then I got a very similar pattern or like the same pattern, but in a little tank like this. Not sure if I'm going to keep this tank because originally I thought I got this because the pants i didn't know that the pants and this were like a whole set i guess i really just wasn't thinking to be honest my mind kind of blacked out when i was doing the sale because i had to move quickly okay it was like a battle out there on that site but i got this and i thought it'd be really cute with like little boxer shorts or something but i just looked at my receipt and realized this was like 50 dollars. so i'll probably be returning this because that just doesn't make sense to me and then on to the cherries the pink cherries are we kidding this is me, like me in a set. I might even wear these tonight, either these ones or these ones. We'll kind of see. Actually, probably these ones because it's more like Valentine's, but I love this pink color with the little cherries. These are so cute. Oh, I love. It's like that ribbed material too, so cozy and just like very warm pajama, but nothing that's like too heavy, you know? I don't know how to describe it. You guys just need to get some skims for yourself because they're too good. And of course the matching tank because i love my matching sets my matching pjs workout sets loungewear anything and everything and i love these con rib tanks i have them in a few different colors as well that i wear with like the little boxer shorts and then last thing i got was this robe we know i live in robes i'm constantly wearing my robe in the morning or at night and i have only sherpa robes right now and those are like the only ones that i typically wear because it just feels like a blanket on you and it's so cozy but in the summer i never wear them because i'd be like drenched <laughs> just sitting in my apartment from how hot it is outside so i wanted to get something that was a little more lightweight and when i saw this one i was like i need to try that i don't have any shorter robes either so i thought that this one would be perfect and again the pink and the cherries like i just can't go wrong so that is everything that i got i'll definitely link everything down below for you guys if you want to check it out i'm sure there's something still left in stock but yeah i think this is um a collection that they should keep year long because it's not too valentine's -y, but like it is just so girly and so cute so anyways i'm gonna figure out what i'm gonna wear tonight for the little galentines get my food prepped and ready to go or my little snacky and then we'll head on out. Very simple snack that I'm bringing. I'm just gonna do fruit kebabs because everyone's bringing like sweeter treats with chocolate and everything. So we've definitely got enough of that. So I'm gonna put some red, or no, wait, I should've done strawberry right there. I cut these strawberries into the shape of hearts and I think it's so cute. I'm following this picture that I saw on Pinterest for inspo and then raspberry, another grape. These are like the juiciest green grapes ever. They taste so good, but yeah. How cute are these? So simple, but look how cute they turned out. And then of course we've got the jammies. How freaking adorable. Ooh. 